Here are the tests on my 1950 Case Deluxe. I set it to the water line and I am using a Fluid Master flush valve because I don't have the original Douglas valve. So let's give this a flush and see how it does on tests. This toilet had a lot of dirt in the rim when I first got it. I don't think there's too much anymore. There's no mineral buildup and no siphon jet blockages, so these tests should be pretty accurate. So let's add some water to the bowl and then try a washcloth. I'm pretty sure it'll pass this. I'd be sad if it doesn't. Actually, no, I'd be disappointed, really disappointed. Did perfectly. Let's add some water to the bowl and now let's try a grocery bag. I think, I think it can take this as well. A while back I had one from 1940, but I don't think I did tests on it, so I don't really know how these perform. did perfectly. So let's add some water to the bowl and now I will try them both together. The trapway opening on this is a little bit small so if it clogs I'm guessing it's going to clog there but I don't really think this has much hope of passing just due to the size of the trapway opening. So. I'm going to wait for the tank to fill up and I will be right back. Honestly, I think it'll just pull it through once I add a little more water to the bowl, or maybe while I'm waiting. Wow, I guess right. So, let's add some water to the bowl, and then try a dish towel. I think this will pass. Considering it took that through, I'd say it sort of half passed that, but usually if it passes the washcloth and grocery bag, it can pass the dish towel. And I'm going to put this in right before I flush it because it tends to sink to the bottom and take it too early in the flush. But anyway, I will be right back when the tank is full. That failed miserably. So I'm gonna try it again. The only reason I'm trying it again is because I think it can pass. So I'll be right back when the tank is full. And the video won't pause. There we go. 
So let's try this one more time. That did pretty well. I think the reason it failed before and the reason it struggled this time was because it sort of bunched it all up into a ball before taking it down. So I don't really think that would be an issue if it was installed in a bathroom, but it makes it a little, a little harder for it to pass some of the tests. So now let's try dirt. As far as I know, all of the rim jets are clear. There's always the chance that there is something blocking one of them, but I don't think there is. So that dirt actually spread around really nicely. I don't think I've had it spread that nicely before. It usually just like falls off the sides or something drips down. But anyway, I'll be right back when the tank is full. I think it will do perfectly getting it off the rim or off the inside of the bowl unless there is a rim blockage. And I think it will do okay but not great getting it out of the bowl. It did really, really well getting it out of the bowl. As you could see, this stuff sort of dripped down at the very end. I'm not really too impressed about that. I don't know what's causing it, but let's see around the sides. Dang, I was right. It did do perfectly, except of course that. So I'm just gonna flush it like this so we can see what's wrong with the bowl rinse. So it looks like this is a legitimate defect with the toilet. These jets point more down, and these ones over here point to the side. So I believe that is purely the fault of the toilet. I will work a, um, a clothes hanger in there, and I'll see if there's any dirt in the rim, and I'll put it in the description. So right now I'm counting this as a failure of the toilet but I will let you know whether there is something clogging the rim if you go check in the description. But anyway, that is all for these tests. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe and turn on notifications. It helps my channel a lot and I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video.